drugs which we typically don't use in myeloma. So three uh, different approaches. There was a study which was presented uh, looking at uh, uh, venetoclax, uh, venetoclax in combination with carfilzomib. Venetoclax is a BCL2 inhibitor, and you know the studies in myeloma have shown that uh, a subset of patients actually does respond. And when we delve down into that subset, it's the 1114 translocated patients are the ones who have a higher response rate. Um, what we know about the biology of this disease is that the majority of myeloma is very MCL1 dependent. MCL1 is an apoptotic protein. And then when MCL1 is blocked, BCL2 can take over. So blocking BCL2 can help us in that other subset of patients who are not dependent. And this was just co-blocking of MCL1 as well as BCL2. Uh, the response rates were close to 80% in this very small study, about 25, 26 patients here. But when you looked at the 11, 14 translocators, 100% of them uh, responded. They were able to go all the way to 800 milligrams of venetoclax, um, which is quite remarkable. And unlike the CLL data, you don't necessarily need to ramp up in uh, myeloma, although they did see one patient who had high disease burden who had tumor lysis. So in high disease burden patients, I would be careful, but this is just another strategy of using a uh, different class of drugs in the context of myeloma and the data looks good. There was toxicity associated and I think one has to be careful when you combine these drugs and really understand their toxicities. The third trial was, uh, you know, uh, a combination of of uh, LEN, in again LEN refractory patients, what Jim Berenson did was took these patients, gave them low doses of lenalidomide, and then gave them a JAK2 inhibitor, um, uh, 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 and um, looked at the data there. And he did see some responses there. It's still very early, that da data. And uh, you know the overall response rates were there in patients who were completely LEN refractory. By adding on a JAK2 inhibitor, uh, you're seeing some capturing of uh, that response. We'll have to wait and see how that pans out.